Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today's video is uh, YouTube changes, uh, what now, my thoughts. Also a few product shares. I thought I'd share a few items and a few products with you guys. It's basically a chat video. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Just thought I would jump on here and talk about the situation on YouTube and my thoughts and then also just share a few little things also with you guys. So that will be after. I'm going to first talk about YouTube and that. I'll see if I can do the time frame down below because I know some people appreciate that and that also helps a lot of people out. So maybe I'll do that. That way if you just want to skip this part and go right to the product share, you can do that. YouTube and their changes that they have done. Um, I will be affected with it and basically it is you have to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of view and I didn't meet that last year. It's I guess last year if you didn't meet it then you got hit this you know like right now and it's a little frustrating because it's like oh my gosh you only got like 30 days less than that probably almost getting close to less to that less than that now but you only have so much time to try and work in where you're lacking you know for me my subscribers is fine it's just um the hours aren't there when i first got the email i at first thought what did i do wrong for youtube i thought i did a no-no rule and then I started reading it more and I was like, oh, wait a minute, you know, and I realized they were changing stuff. But when I first saw it, I got frustrated, upset and sad, you know, like I had a little, a little of everything. I guess I was disappointed. It was basically the main thing. I was disappointed because I thought, you know, I was doing pretty good, but according with them, I'm not. Within the 24 hours to 48 hour period, I started trying to really give deep thought in it. And here's what I thought. I don't really make much on here, you know, on YouTube. It's not something like where uh, I could live off of it, obviously. You know, m majority of us aren't. And the other thing was when I first read the email, I think what got a lot of people, and this is what I saw, in the writing in there somewhere, it said that they were trying to get rid of the bad creators and actors and just all these different things. And you felt like this big fat slap in the face where you weren't good enough, you weren't worth and all this kind of stuff. You know, that's how I felt at first. I felt very offended by it. So I know there's a lot of you guys that probably felt the same way, but you know, that's the thing. We are all in this together. It's not just like, oh, I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, a woes me or poor me because you know, really maybe I needed that slap a little bit where it's like I really never paid attention to certain things. I just went with the flow as I do and I think I do need to step it up. My communication with you guys, I know that's pretty good. You know, we have that communication. I feel that's pretty good. I think it's the equipment and other things. I do use a webcam, not on my laptop because this is my laptop over here. I have it. I have a webcam and it's hooked up to the laptop. My lighting I have up on the ceiling, natural light, which it's kind of shabby out there. So most of the light's coming from there and there's a little small ring light. The ring light is one of those ring lights that you use on your cell phone for a selfie picture. That's what's over there. And honestly, I think I can get away with the lighting for the time being. I think I'm going to look more into other things like maybe a camera or something. What I do have to do things still budget, but I want to find things that will help me with the budget to up my, you know, I've been wanting to do that anyway for a while. It's not, you know, that's something I've been wanting to do. My word for this year is motivation and that's my goal. That's my key is I do want to stick with motivation. I don't want the negativity or any of them kind of things come flowing in. I know I can do well on here. I know I, I feel like I already do do pretty good. I just need to tweak and up the, 
you know, process. It's going to be a challenge, but I'm up for the challenge. The one thing I will always be with you guys, though, is truthful, like whether it comes to products or items or just things in general, I will be truthful in a sense of like YouTube for me is not just a hobby. I know for some it's a hobby and something there for them, but there's more to it for me. Uh, and I've always wanted to make more of it, but I never worked hard enough to make more of it. And maybe that's like where I'm saying that I got the slap in the face is like, you know what? You haven't really worked hard enough in what you can do. So I just have to figure out like what I really want, what I need to do and just focus on that. So I do feel you guys, I understand your frustration. I really do. It's not just me. It's, this isn't just about me. This isn't even just about the beauty community. This is about people on YouTube in general that vlog, that, you know, like do their music, that do their beauty, that do their craft things or DIYs or whatever. It's, it's a whole bunch of us. Was I upset? Yes. Am I still upset now? Not as much. There's some disappointing factors to it because I felt like I was working towards something, but I'm still working towards something. And it happened. It's here now. I'm just going to focus on the next levels. So, all right, enough of that jabbering on to that. Let's get into a couple products that I wanted to share with you guys. So one of the products is I showed you guys, I had gotten a deluxe sample of the honey potion from pharmacy. It's the honey mask. And I said, I wanted to see if I liked it better or if it was compared to my honey mask from the body shop, the Ethiopian honey mask. And I love this one. And it's thick like you would expect honey. Like it has that gooey, gooey, see how, you know, that you would expect honey to have. And it has the natural scent. You know, I seen the pharmacy one. Um, I thought, is it going to be comparison? Well, right away, I can already tell you the coloring is totally different. And, you know, like this looks more like a lemon yellow color. This one has more of the caramel, you know, like color to it. And there is a difference. Difference being this feels like more of a balm texture, like, uh, you know, it has more like a balm texture to it, like Vaseline balm, you know, kind of a thing. And when you rub it on, it will turn white. And you know, see to me, I can almost smell like Vaseline in here. So, you know, like you rub it on and it will turn like white on you afterwards. And you let it set for like the 15, 20 minutes or whatever it says on there. And then you take a damp washcloth, warm washcloth and wipe it off. And the same with my other one, you know, you put it on your face. It doesn't turn white though. It just, you know, stays as is. And you let it sit there for a good while and, you know, do its thing. And then you take a washcloth and wipe it off. Honestly, I still really like my body shop one better because it gives me more, I feel the glow that I like I get from it. I get this beautiful, healthy, glowy looking skin. If you like that, you would really like this. Not that this one's bad. I wouldn't say it's terrible. I wouldn't, you know, tell anybody to not buy it. It's just going to depend, you know, like this one's a balm texture. This one's a little more thicker. A comparison with the two, I really love the Body Shop one still. Mascara here, I only got to use a couple different times and I wanted to tell you guys about it. And I was going to do a demonstration on it. I still might. Maybe to get ready with me, I probably will. But it's the Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara from Wonder Beauty. I'm telling you, between this one and the Tarte one, ugh, it's tied for me because they they, I like them both. I mean, like the Tarte one I have on today. That's what I have on my eyes today. You know, I've always really liked the Pure Cosmetics Fully Charged one. I like that one really well. I need to get that one to remind me what it was about that. Do you ever do that? Like you'll, you used to like a product and then you'll be like, I need to get that to figure out what it was that I really liked about that or has it changed and these are even better. It's a nice regular bristle. It's not plastic. It's like a regular bristle brush. And it's curved, as you can see, it does curve real nice. So it's supposed to help curl your lashes. It really separates, curls them, lengthens them, fills them out. 
it is really nice. Really nice. I'll have to juggle around and play around still, but yeah, I do like this one. So I would recommend it. I kind of forgot about this blush. If you see any of these blushes, I might pick up a couple more. The Mineral Blush from Alta. It's from the Alta brand and it's in Sweet Pea. And I'm pretty sure they have them on there still. Let me just say this thing here is pigmented and it is a very pretty color. I forgot about this and I pulled it out one day and I was like, oh my god, I forgot so much about that blush. And it's such a pretty subtle color to it, as you can see, especially for something that's fair complected, like fair to light, maybe medium, you might be able to get away with it too. Uh, but it's just a beautiful flushed color. I start using some lipsticks that I bought here and there and just shuffle all through. And this color works perfect, this one here from Maybelline. It's in number 770 Mauve It. So 770 Mauve It is the color. I know you can't see the name, but you can see the number. So look for a bluish purple casing and it's called Mauve It in 770. This, and I think it's one of their matte lipsticks. This is a beautiful shade for right now. Gorgeous shade right there. Look at that. And I love the Maybelline lipsticks. They're some of my favorites in the drugstore. Frances, whose happiness sparkles on here, another beautiful young lady. She loves purses and and handbags and I told her I said you know it's a shame because I have a purse handbag that I never really got to use and I need to pull it out and I've had it for well over a couple years now and I just I fell in love with it but I never used it and it's like the reason why silly enough is I'm afraid to, of, of it getting dirty or something happening to it but then I thought well why did I buy it's just gonna sit there so I might as well use it if something does it just does you know but it wasn't cheap it was it was a pricey it was probably my most priciest handbag i ever bought i don't think does i don't know if he makes any more handbags i know there's some out there shuffling around but i don't know because i got mine from qvc and it is from uh bruce Mikowski. so i don't know does he not make them anymore here it is it's like a snake snake skin someone want to say oh here's the front of it never mind here's the front of it like i mean seriously look the tag's still even on it like what Lori? like really you know it has a beautiful golden color and then the snake skin and of course you know like there's his name on there and it's just it's a beautiful big bag has magnetic closure love that you know lots of room i mean like the papers in there lots of room i mean it has that leopard lining in there and everything you know there's compartments on the side here or you can see the compartments in there and i kept it in that bag thing and just never have used it and Dang, like what is wrong with me? So if somebody could tell me, because like I was looking up to see about some of his handbags because I always did like some of the style of his when I'd see them. And him and it's crazy because even uh is it Kathy Van Zeeland? I liked a lot of hers. And I'm not seeing some of those so much. I'm still using my hockey bag. I mean, I love my hockey bag, you know, I love my, my penguins and stuff but I want to pull that out or I'll use that in spring. Maybe I'll wait till spring. Okay, so the two uh, channels that I want to do a shout out for, the first one is the two real chicks. That would be Carla and Karen. I recently got to know them this year and them two have quite a chemistry together. I really enjoy watching them. They have a different way of bringing stuff on their channel. They do mostly all beauty related videos, I think. Yes, if I'm trying to think correctly. There is some that they did, especially around Christmas time and the holidays, and they shared uh, different drinks or, you know, just different food items, but then they also shared uh, different decorations, and it was pretty simple, pretty easy DIYs, things that you can maybe buy at the dollar store, 
and put it all together and and make something of a centerpiece or whatever and yeah I, I really enjoy them they have this wonderful chemistry together so I'm going to put a link down below of their channel please go check them out and show them some love and subscribe if you like also I'm going to share with you guys uh, Sherry A uh, the eyes have it. I was trying to think of the name of her channel that she had at first, but I think she has a Sherry A now, but I think she used to have it as the eyes have it, or maybe she still does. I can't quite remember how that goes, but she calls it the eyes have it too. And I got to know her, I think within the last couple years already now. She's a wonderful person. I really enjoy watching her. She does her, she has her, oh, if I could only think of her little fur baby's name right now. Now I can't think of her fur baby's name, but oh my god, it's so cute because she'll get the bark box, you know, and you could just tell that they're just so excited to see their bark box. And it's funny because you know, like right away, they want to go for the toys, of course. And she does share her mostly the beauty related stuff, of course. And um, I think also she's done the outfit kind of of the day. She does a little bit of everything. A lot of us do try to switch it up, I think, instead of just totally trying to be beauty related, but still share a little of our lifestyle or life in a sense. So I'm going to put a link down below to her channel. Please go check her out. She's another wonderful person here on YouTube. So I will have both their links down below. Show them some love. Subscribe if you like. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please come and join me. I would love to have you. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell that's right next to the subscribe button. That way you'll at least be notified of when my videos are uploaded and ready to watch uh, each week because I do try to have videos up every week. And also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helped me out so much, and I very much appreciate that. Get me out there, moving around a little bit. And also, don't forget to share me, because that will also help get me motivated out there and share it all around and get me noticed more. And as always, bees, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real bees shine through. So until the next time, you take care. Bye. We'll see you then. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.